Well, hello again, YouTube. Uh, we're back again with a, another comic book haul. Um, went to a a show at the, uh, an Elks Lodge, Elks Lodge in Old Bridge, New Jersey. Also picked up uh, some pretty cool um, Marvel magazines on Instagram, and uh, have a couple of toys that uh, action figures that I, I picked up recently. We got the. Infinity Saga Thor um, for the collection, and we got the Bo Katan uh, Black Series um, action figure. So, going to be adding those to the collection. They were a pretty decent price. Um, I can't remember how much they were, but it wasn't too much. Okay, so these next group. Of books are some books that I got off of Instagram from a seller called uh, named That Comic Book Guy or That Comic Guy. I always mess up his his page, um, but uh, I paid ninety dollars shipped for these books. Uh, Dracula Lives, Volume Two, Number One, from March of nineteen seventy four. Then we got Dracula Lives, number nine. Dracula Lives, number 13. And then Dracula Lives, Super Size Annual. Um, the main reason why I bought these books, other than the price for them, he had this awesome Frank Frazetta cover. That I did not have in the collection, um, but now I do. It is creepy number four. Uh, just a really amazing cover. Um, if you're not familiar with Frank Frazetta's artwork, uh, you need to get on that. Um, one of my videos from a couple of years ago, if you search through my videos, maybe I'll put a, uh, a card to the video which will may pop up here if I get around to doing that. I, did, I took a tour of the Frank Frazetta, Frank Frazetta Museum and uh, showed some of his, his work. Um, I would check that out. So, very cool grabs for $90 shipped. Okay. So then, went to that show in Old Bridge that I mentioned, and I tried really hard uh, to stay away from the cheap bins. I wanted... I guess quality over quantity for a change and um, normally I leave the show with more money than I th planned on leaving with because um, most of the time I'm too cheap to to let the to spend my money but I did buy uh, two books that were over a hundred dollars each um, which is a lot for me because I don't normally do that and uh, I'll show those uh, obviously but I did pick up some dollar books we got uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 42. Marvel Age number 19. Um, thought this was a pretty cool cover. In addition to the black suit, you have all those uh, star characters, um, including Fraggle Rock and the Ewoks and Muppet Babies and Heathcliff. Top Dog, I think. And... Uh, Planet Terry, and then I don't know who those two characters are, or, or that moose for that matter. Um, an Adam Hughes cover for the collection, Just Imagine Catwoman. A Shadowland book for the collection. Um, I wanted to get all the tie-ins as well. So Shadowland, uh, Spider-Man. I need the Moon Knight ones. I don't have those, and it looks like I'm, I'm getting a little late to the game on those because now they're going up in value for some reason. Picked up one, two copies of What If 34. I always enjoyed this book as a kid, What If number 29. Uh, what if the Avengers had defeated everybody? Popeye actually has a little cameo in this book. Um, as one of the uh, heroes that were defeated by the Avengers. This was a cool grab for a dollar. What if 
Thor battled the Conan. Then we got some Disney nostalgia. The Adventures of Robin Hood. I grabbed this book because it was signed. Um, Green Lantern number five, signed by Ethan Van Skyver in 2007. There's his signature right there. That was pretty cool for a dollar. I doubt someone's forging uh, his signature on a random Green Lantern book. Bone. Uh, number four, you know what, I didn't check to see what print this is. I'm pretty sure it's not a first print. I just want to look. I should have done this before shooting the video. It is... Huh. Does it say bone number four? Sixth printing. Um... Boy, they printed the hell out of this, didn't they? So we got that. I didn't have that issue. So now I have the sixth printing of it. So that will also explain why it was a dollar. Some issues of uh, the Michael, uh, the Brian Michael Bendis Spider Woman run. We got issue number two and issue number four. Didn't have those. And then Conan, number 244, newsstand. Vengeance of Vampirella, number one. Red foil cover. There's also like a blue foil cover, which I think has a little bit more value to it. Uh, Vampirella, number one. I don't remember what volume this is, but this is the Mike Mayhew cover. I always like Mike Mayhew's Vampirella work. Not as much as I do Perillo's, but still love his work. And uh, the J. Ann Satello's uh, variant to that as well. And rounding out the dollar pickups, um, X-Men number one. I'm trying to put a couple of sets of this uh, together. The X-Men one sets, the connecting covers. All right, just a handful of other books. I got these next three books for a total of twenty dollars. Got as soon as I walked in the front, as soon as I walked in the front door, I went started going through his boxes. Um, so we got Giant Size Dracula number two for my run. Torchy number three, um, gorgeous Olivia cover, and uh, another Frazetta for the collection, Creepy number eighty nine. Frazetta did a lot of these creepy covers in this, in you know, in the seventies. Creepy and eerie. Uh, he did a lot of those covers. Then I bought a couple of books um, from Zap Comics. They were there. This was one of the two books that I got from them. I got that for ten bucks, and it's a really, uh, for me, it's a high grade copy. I, I mean, I don't see any issues with this book at all. Um, it's, there's some kind of scuffing on scratches on the cover. I mean, it's one of the nicer detective books that I have in the collection from this era. And then the other book that I got from them, I got off of their wall. Uh, they had 120 on it. Uh, I got it for 110. And that is Amazing Spider-Man number 32. This is one of the nicest lower number issues that I have in the collection. Um, let me see if I can maybe zoom in on that for you guys to get a better look. Can I do that? I don't think I can. Oh yeah, there you go. So that's a really nice, nice copy. But that to me, that's not the best book that I got. Um, for a while, I've been trying to chase down a a Popeye pre-1940 um, for my collection, and I finally was able to get one. This issue is from 1937. It is King Comics number 13. Um, I got it for $95. So, um, it was either 95 or 100 I, I want to say 95 
Um, and that was it. Uh, that's the whole haul. Uh, he had this as a, as a 3.0. Um, there was a puzzle that's done inside and it was done with pencil. I'm not going to mess around with trying to erase it or do anything more with it. But um, that's probably one of the my most favorite books that I picked up this year. Probably when I do a, a video at the end of the year. That book will be featured in that uh, that summary video. But uh, that's it, everybody. We're going to be short and sweet this week. Um, I have some more books to show. Went to a flea market um, last weekend and got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I also have just some current stuff to show. I figured I'd show that in another video. Um, and that's it. So thanks again for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, just uh, please hit that uh, like and subscribe button. And until next time, guys, be well. Bye for now.